we're going to find out if the greatest demon lord reincarnated as a typical nobody is worth watching. Hey everyone, I'm Weez, let's get right into it. Out of all of the seasonal anime I've been watching this season, typical nobody is the worst. Despite having some actual interesting concepts at the beginning, the story quickly skips through every concept that could be interesting to give us a generic cringe high school harem power fantasy concept. It puts its best storytelling in its lackluster first episode, and only bits and pieces of any true interesting story story could be found. The show gives us some characters, introduces us to their characteristics and goals, then immediately forgets who they are and constantly changes their personality, depending on the situation they are in. The only thing that stays consistent is our main character being both extremely bland despite his actually interesting intro, and extremely overpowered so that all tension the show pretends to have means absolutely nothing. Multiple times in the show I asked myself, what am I supposed to be feeling right now? The best emotion I got from typical notes Nobody, was slight amusement at some of the jokes, and a few even made me laugh. The first episode had some legitimately good moments. The second episode had approximately a good moment, and since then the show has been awful. Even the animation seems to have gotten worse. The characters are shallow, and the only voice actor who bothered to put any energy into their character was Irina's. There's a lot of pointless fan service too, but so far it hasn't gone to absurd levels. However, everyone falls in love with the main character because, of course they do. Is this show really that that bad, it's watchable, it doesn't hold to its promise of being reincarnated as a typical nobody, which actually could make for a great comedy, or at least somewhat interesting plot. Nothing is handled well, and it somehow takes itself way too seriously. Just watch the opening and you'll see what I mean. So is the greatest demon lord reincarnated as a typical nobody worth watching? No, it's more of a fantasy for wanting to be popular than it is an actual show. Instead, check out my review for Love After World Domination or Spy Family. Those are significant significantly better in every imaginable way. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like the video so more people can see my content, and subscribe if you want to watch more. That's all for me. Jamiao!